Hi, my name is Amory Kruger, uh, and I am on staff at the Center for Community Engagement, part of the Division of Diversity and Community Engagement at the University of Texas at Austin, and part of the team who will be the future residents of the John Chase Building. So for the outside of the building, it was a pretty dramatic transformation, mostly in sort of refurbishing the original exterior and uh, the paint colors to try to um, modernize and, and sort of update at the same time. So the front door of the building is what we're the most excited about, I think. It's the biggest statement on the front of the, of the building. Um, it was, it's the original front door. It was completely sanded, refinished, and repainted to specifically to make a statement on the front of the building. But the other most dramatic kind of area and feature on the front of the building is the corrugated metal front um, that was completely redone for the, the renovation and then the sort of eyebrow feature as we're affectionately calling it. That piece really stands out and is a defining feature of the mid-century vibe of the front of the building. We've completely redone the landscaping and tried to minimize it as much as possible. UT Landscape Services is, uh, did all the work and is gonna maintain that, um, but they're really trying to highlight the architecture of the building to try to keep it low, try to keep it minimal, low maintenance, uh, and to really show off the design features that are on the front porch, the front door, and then also show off and allow light through the main windows. Um, and the windows were also specially ordered, specially uh, installed to match the original windows. They were, they were re-manufactured and reinstalled to look just like the original windows. So now we're standing in one of the back corners of the building and this is going to function as the kitchen and break room for the building. Um, it previously functioned as a, a break room and a storage space, but um, it's gonna function, we, it's all clean and crisp and that's really the um, kind of the vibe of the inside of the building. So coming through the hallway, we've got the restroom um, right here on the right. Uh, and then we have the coffee room over here. This is kind of like our, you know, utility space. Um, hope, we hope to have um, as many of the walls as possible used for displays uh, of memorabilia and um, archives and uh, mementos of the former lives of the building as possible. And then when we come in here, we've got a conference room space. So you'll see we've got carpet on this floor, um, we try to maximize the windows as much as possible, and then built-ins, also for memorabilia, for storage function. Um, but this will be serve, this will serve as our conference room and meeting space um, that will be available, you know, for any UT staff and faculty that want to have meetings here, community organizations and small groups that want to have meetings here. You know, we hope it we hope it will be an open and multi-use space as possible. Uh, welcome to the front lobby of the building. Uh, this is going to serve as the main entrance, the welcome, uh, the front desk area, and also you'll see the big blank walls, much more display space uh, for anything that we want to, to put in here and showcase. Um, so as you can see, the back side of the front door um, it is you know, a dramatic feature for the inside as well, and the big windows really let so much light in and uh, I think kind of define the, um, the feel of the space uh, and really allow for it to be as bright and open and welcoming as possible. Um, a couple more defining features of this space, particularly in here, one being this interior planter that we were able to keep. Um, it matches the flagstone of that exterior of the building and will just you know serve as a planter for us, but it really sort of that mid-century idea of bringing the inside outside, or bringing the outside inside. <laughs> um, and we're really, we're really glad to be able to get to keep it. And then the other thing is this light tray along the ceiling um, that eventually will be stained, you know, dark wood to match the interior doors and trim. Um, but it really also showcases all the light in the room uh, and is just like an extra wonderful architectural feature to define the space. So this first room down the hallway will function as our the home for our Texas Grants Resource Center. Um, that 
the, that particular office and center will um, serve as a clearinghouse and a resource center for anybody, any individuals or small groups looking for funding. The idea in these rooms that is that everything will be modular, all the furniture will be movable, um, and we're able to tailor it to the usage, uh, both current and future of the space. And this is the final room of the building. This will be the staff suite. Uh, it's again, a pretty open and plain space right now. Um, and it'll be furnished with modular furniture and um, movable, everything will be movable and able to be, to function in whatever way we need it for. Um, in the immediate future, it'll serve as our main staff space for the staff of the Center for Community Engagement who will be in here. So we can have meetings, um, you know, just generally conduct business uh, and have that sort of home base and place to work out of. So we are very excited to be wrapping up this renovation project and moving into this building soon-ish. Um, we, over the course of the rest of this year, we'll be doing uh, a lot of virtual storytelling, digital storytelling uh, about the lives of this building, about its former residents, people connected to the building and the neighborhood that, that the building sits in. Um, and then we look forward to inviting people, hopefully in person, into the building in 2022 uh, when we officially open it to the public and start our regular operations.